Two dominant girls soccer teams hit the field tonight. KIMT News 3 Sports Mary Peters was there. So Mary, who played tonight? Yeah, Tyler, the cast of Manorville Comets hosted the Lord Eagles tonight. Take a look. Both teams were undefeated in conference play. Coming into this one, the Eagles got on the board first. Amelia Gossman shoots and goes off the goalie's hands right into the net. Lord leads one to nothing, and they add to that lead right here. Rose Otto, the goalie gets her hands on it, but it goes in. The Eagles get the three to one victory over the Comets. And here's a look at some of the other girls' soccer scores from tonight. The Austin Packers and the Albert Lee Tigers ended in a tie at nothing in double overtime. The St. Charles Saints shut out the Caledonia Warriors 6 to nothing. Well, boys' soccer teams competed tonight too, including the Pine Islands and Broda Mazeppa Wildcats and the Byron Bears. Both teams were undefeated coming into this one too. The Wildcats had the 2 to nothing lead at the end of the first half. In the second half, the Wildcats tried to add to that lead and the Bears goalie stops it before it goes into the net. Then take a look at this one. Liam Schick passes it to Kevin Thomason and it hits off the post and goes out. The Wildcats shut out the Bears 3 to nothing. And here's a look at some of the other games tonight. The Mayo Spartans knocked off the Red Wing Wingers 7 to 1 and the John Marshall Rockets beat the Mankato West Scarlets 4 to 1. And switching to volleyball in southeastern Minnesota, the Alden Conger Knights shut out the Medallia Blackhawks 3 to nothing. The Shaver Academy Lions beat the Lyle Pacelli Athletics in three sets. And in North Iowa, the Newman Catholic Knights beat the West Hancock Eagles 3 to 1. The Des Moines Roosevelt Rough Riders beat the Mason City Riverhawks in three sets.